guys, welcome back to a coffee time with Cobra. Um, unfortunately, I've already drank my coffee, so technically the video is over. But what I've decided to do is to keep the uh, coffee going, and that is because I have been uh, busy watching this video. And I'm going to do a reaction to it instead today. So, this is the newest episode of the Whatever Podcast. I'm going to sneeze, I can feel it. Allergies are going crazy to me. So, one second. <sighs> really hate sneezing. Okay, so this is the um, Whatever Podcast. And apparently someone wanted me to react to this... British chick with a horrible British slash Australian accent. And so I figured I would do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move my face over here. Like so. I slept with a 122 oh, college boys. What? And, and, and I just want to make sure I get this right. How many days? Just over two weeks. In the words of the Virgin Mary, come again. You are a fucking slag. End of. There's no two ways about it. You are a fucking slag. You are a slapper, as the Germans would call you. You are a fucking whore. You belong to the streets. You are a literal fucking whore. And you ain't even that pretty. Continue. That was... Oh. So yeah, okay. it was a lot of day, if you're trying to do the maths. Should we could do the math. <laughs> what the? Quick <laughs> math. Okay. And so, uh, how did you source them? Did you just approach them in the street? I'd already done like, I'd already gone on social media, I'd done TikToks, Instagram posts, say, hey, I'm coming to the Grand Oasis, which is like a main hotel a lot of the spring breakers go to. If anyone works or, or, or knows the owners of that hotel, Make sure that women like this never, ever, and I cannot stress this, never, ever, ever, ever get a room at that hotel ever again because she quite literally just associated your hotel to being a whore. This is not the brand you want. This is not the person you want shelling out for your business which by the way she's even a fake blonde you can literally see the bleach in her hair she's not even a real blonde like basically come and find me and let's make a video so like when i got there everyone already sort of knew who i was to come and say hi was there any so what was the most in one day 22. <gasps> You know it's bad when even the Asian here can't even look at you in the face. You can tell this one right here has already fucking got this mixture of, yeah, you go, go, but damn, 22 dicks in one day? Yeah, nah, bruv. She's literally just like, are you fucking for real? Bruh, are you for real? This one can't even look in the same general direction as her. you if your mother and father ever see this, I hope they disown you. I mean it. I, I, I genuinely hope you get disowned. And if your husband sees this, if your children ever see this, if you ever do have children with your bucket cunt, if you ever do have children, you are never going to live down this public shame. The internet is forever, you stupid fucking gulva. 
do you understand? 22 in one day. Yeah. Okay. I mean, look at this bird's face. Look at her boat race. That's like, are you fuck? She, she, she's joking, right, bruv? You can see the the sheer disappointment on the younger generation. The younger generation. Because I know she's 19. Because I've, I've seen the whatever podcast a few times. I know she's 19. She's probably not far off. She's probably about 20, 21. And she's like, you have shagged more dudes in one day than I am in age. Like, what the fuck? And this woman right here is like, Why the fuck you lying? Why are you always lying? No, oh my God. Quit fucking lying. You can see just on her face. This woman still can't even look her in, look in that direction. I wouldn't either. I mean, was there any concerns over any like, of these? Like, seriously, she just thinks it's a fucking joke. She literally just thinks that your entire statement that you just said is a joke. A fucking joke because you are a fucking joke whatever your fucking name is and i'm not uh, i'm not even gonna bother to look you up i do not want to disrespect even my fucking porn hub set i'm i'm just not i'm just not i'm just not um as in like stds yeah you got a few darling this this is why i'm a firm believer okay that god is a woman and not a man because if god was a man and um, he would have put like a fucking fuck counter like a, an odometer on a woman's vagina in fact here's a hint ladies god actually did okay the more sex you have the longer your lips and your labia get so when a man looks down and it looks like a roast beef sandwich from arby's you've been around the block a few times Hers must look like someone threw a hand grenade in a fucking deli counter. Probably stinks just as bad too. Yeah, venereal disease. Um, VD. used condoms. Uh no. Don't care. Just don't care. Just don't care. Um, but I get there, there, you, you, no, no. There, there, okay, as a former, as a former sex worker, Okay, I used to do porn, full disclosure, as a former sex worker. She's instantly on my no list. Instantly on my no list. And yes, male workers do have no lists. And if you don't know what a no list is, Google it. Just Google sex worker no list. You will find one. There are several famous porn actors and actresses who will not work with one another or cannot work with one another due to either poor hygiene, uh, um poor poor uh, uh, personality or just this is no chemistry things of that nature just just no there's a reason why you've never seen bonnie rotten and sasha gray in the same video they just won't work with each other two different styles completely again as a former sex worker i can tell you that their styles would not would not work but granted both aren't in the industry anymore one's married to jesse james lucky bitch and the other one i think quit and become an ambassador for the UN. Nice one, UN. This is why no one thinks you're fucking even worthy of anything. Anyway, continue. That's like every two weeks, so. But you didn't test. E every two weeks, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is, this is why I'm telling you people, if you do OnlyFans, and I mean this, if you do OnlyFans and you have penetrative sex, even if it's oral, if you have any kind of fluid swap whatsoever, get tested immediately after okay that is the industry standard for current actual professional sex workers you are not a professional sex worker okay your career can be taken away when your account is closed an actual professional sex worker has an agent works for an industry and follows an industry standard there is a reason why there is a reason why you will never be as famous as some other porn actresses out there. Chasey Lane, uh, Mercedes Carrera, uh, uh, um, Tina Tanaka. There are so many really good workers out there who have a high standard, okay, and get paid the high standard pay. You probably get maybe a hundred bucks a month after all your expenditure. Yeah, you really making it rain, aren't you, darling? Ugh. 
you f- you're just fucking disgusting. No, no. I personally, I, I did. It's from '98 to 2002, 2003. I did probably close to about 160, 100. And, no, I did. About 120, 130. I, but guaranteed, each one, each fucking one, I got tested. I got tested. And I didn't do anything with anyone, not even my partner at the time. Nothing until I got those test results back. Because my personal health is not worth seven ninety nine on OnlyFans. This is how I, I'm telling people, if if I come across... I, I get messaged all the time on my Instagram by so-called OnlyFans models asking for advice. Here's my advice. Get off of OnlyFans. Get off of OF. Get off of it. Just get off of it. Get off of it. They're not an agency. They're nothing. They are basically digital pimps. You pay them for what? The privilege of hosting a website that you could get for yourself with GoDaddy. Or somewhere else. But, oh, you just lack the ability to go to a website like Allison. Not sponsored, but to go to a website like Allison. Yes, I'm getting my tom- my, my CompTIA Security Plus recertification. While I'm doing this, this video. Okay? You can go to Allison. You can get a course on how to build a fucking website with GoDaddy. Educate yourself. True ignorance is the absence of is not the absence of knowledge, but the refusal to, to but the refusal to acquire it. Understand that phrase. You're ignorant. You're ignorant and you're ugly inside and out. Honor their mother, no. their father, okay. you slag. So like if I was with like other OF creators, they always get tested every two sure. weeks, full pan. No. No, no, no. Again, every two weeks, no. It should be after every fucking scene. Do you understand? Even if it's not even... It, I even used to get tested, even if there wasn't any penetration. Do you understand that? And yes, you can do porn scenes where there's no penetration. It's called you're using toys, objects, or even a kink scene. Where I've got someone tied up to an Andrew St. Andrew's cross and I'm, and I'm flogging them. Or doing some impact play. I always got tested. Always. 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 And I always went to one of three separate doctors who were professionals in the industry and got you your test results clean and clear. And if anything came up, even even if your white if even if your white blood cell count was high, they would say, Careful, you might have a minor infection somewhere. Doesn't mean you've got an STD, it could mean you've got a toothache, or you could have uh, acne, or something. Their, their testing was so fucking precise. So fucking precise. One of them even test, turned around and said to me that my, blood, my, my white cell blood count is quite high, and that I should go get tested for, for, for fucking cancer, and they found it from a blood test screen from one of, these, from, from, from one of my doctors, Doc, uh, Dr. Dickinson. Sadly, he's no longer in the business. He's, he, he retired. He retired from being a doctor. But that man would get my test results turned around and handed back to me, full panel, all worked up, all sorted out in less than eight hours. Do you understand that? Eight hours, full panel. You can even get it done in two hours now at a private Booper hospital here in the UK. Two hours. Two hours, peace of mind. Not two weeks. No. Fuck no. Fuck no. No. She's lying. She's full of shit. I know. Mm. Do you but get sore? Like, does it hurt? If, like, at the end of this two weeks, I've been in LA, I'll mm-hmm. 100% be sore. Because okay. they're all... And this... I've, I've, I've got some... I, I... I need to say this bit. This I need to say this. I need to say this bit right now to the men that fucked it. What is wrong with you? What what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you? Did you not 
th th this is the problem with younger generations. They're getting stupider and stupider and stupider and only care about short form content. Motherfuckers, do you even understand what HIV is? Do you even understand what AIDS is? Do you understand what fucking uh, 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 hepatitis is? Do you? Because those are life-altering fucking problems that you can get because you stuck your dick in it. Where she has had 122 fucking men... I'm sorry, if she was the last fucking slag on earth, I would kiss the human race goodbye. She is not worth it. Your self-respect, young men, are not, you're not even men, you're boys, you're fucking children. Grow up. Why are you in such a hurry to die? Because that's exactly what you're doing. You're playing Russian roulette. Do you understand that? Every two weeks. Every two weeks. So how many men did she fuck in those two weeks? Not realising that the first man could have given her something. And again, condoms don't protect you from everything. Crabs. Syphilis. VD. Rickets. There's tons of fucking diseases that get past condoms like that. Like that. So she gets it from man one. At the beginning of that two weeks. And every other dude stuck it in her. Now fucking has it. And most venereal diseases don't show up. Within two weeks. Yeast infections don't show up for, for, for at least a week and a half. So, yeah, stay away from OnlyFans, whether you're a content creator or a content user, stay the fuck away from it, alright, it is a degenerate fucking thing that is quite literally bringing down society it is literally bringing it down and there's no way she's 25 she's in her 30s and if she is 25 fuck me you look rancid ragged up used up like a fucking cum sock that's all you are seriously you think i'm joking you think i, I need it where's that fucking window there you go. You think I'm fucking joking. Seriously, look. Look. Look at that. Look. Well, like, like, for real. Like, for Big, real. They're all, like, professional people in the industry. Oh, okay. But because it was spring break. Stop talking. Just stop talking. Your voice is giving me mono. Seriously. Some of them were banging it. Look at inch. Her. Some of them was like a good size. Really? There's no way, absolutely no way that that fucking slag, there is absolutely no fucking way that that slag is 25. She's in her fucking 30s. End of. She's in her 30s. She's fucking lying. Look at the neck. The neck has got a waddle already and she's 25. Was that from all that, uh, 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 from all the fucking cock you've been sucking? You got this fucking 70s style fucking fake blonde perm thing going on. Pick a generation. What generation are you stuck in? The free lovey hippy dippy sixties with the seventies fucking Farrah Fawcett hairstyle. Seriously, you dirty fucking slag. You dirty fucking slag. I hope your fucking family see this and are fucking ashamed of you. You dirty, dirty. Dirty, fucking dirty slag. It's cunts like you to give England a bad name. You dirty fucking slag.
You don't just belong to the streets. You belong under the streets. You're fucking sewer water. You are garbage. You are rubbish. You belong in the fucking sewers like the Morlocks from the X-Men. You dirty fucking freak. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think of that dirty little fucking slapper. Till then, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.